Hey, well, welcome everybody. Um, it's great to see so many familiar faces here. And I know in this particular rotation, many of you have come an inordinately long way. Um, I know some of you have spent two nights on airplanes and uh, really, thank you so much for making this big long trip. Uh, but I'm sure that you agree with me that having made it and now being here, it's really worth coming to the Cape Peninsula. Thanks for coming and it's lovely uh, to have you here. Welcome also to what is one of the rarest events in the world. What am I saying? A rare event, the launch of a new Rolls-Royce motor car. We're a company that doesn't bring a lot of cars to market. As you well know, we only bring a car to market maybe once every two years or even more. And so when we do bring a Rolls-Royce to market, we bring it very carefully. We bring it after a lot of thought, a lot of planning, and an enormous amount of engineering and design. And we bring a product to market in a careful and considered kind of way. And, um, and here you are at what is really and truly one of the very rarest automotive events in the world. And thank you for joining us. We launched this car, uh, interestingly enough, online back in September uh, from the home of Rolls-Royce at Goodwood in uh, the south of England. It was for us quite an interesting departure because we've never done something like that before. We've been reaching out more and more to the younger, more digitally savvy uh, online community that is being attracted more and more to Rolls-Royce. The young entrepreneurs who are living their life online and spending more time online and uh, gravitating towards Rolls-Royce as a result. And we thought we'd launch this car online, and we did. And it was wonderful. It was a great experience for us. Uh, over 4,000 journalists worldwide, I think some of you as well, logged on and watched the broadcast. And I'm happy to say we trended number one on Google for the entire day that we, uh, that we ran it. And we trended in the top 100 on Google for several days thereafter. It was very successful. And so thanks to those of you who did join us at the time. Welcome, my friends, also to one of the most beautiful parts of God's given earth. As a born South African, I know I can say that. This is really and truly God's country that you're in. It's the winelands of the Western Cape. It's one of the most beautiful kingdoms in the world. It is truly magnificent. And tomorrow, you are going to experience this part of the world in an unparalleled kind of way, in an unparalleled kind of car. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Right now, you're at the top of what's called the Hells Worth the Pass. You're just between Stellenbosch, which is the heart of the Cape Winelands, just down in the dip there, and Franschhoek, which is just down in the dip over there, right in the very heart of the Cape Winelands, one of the most beautiful peninsula areas in the world. Folks, when we at Rolls-Royce do something, we leave nothing to chance. This is a 113-year-old brand arguably the world's number one luxury brand. You'll notice I don't say number one automotive luxury brand, I say the world's number one luxury brand. And we believe that we as Rolls-Royce have um, an absolute benchmark which we have to set every time we bring a product to market. Because we are the Rolls-Royce of Rolls-Royces. We are the Rolls-Royce of cars. Everything else is measured by that unbelievable standard that's set by Rolls-Royce and has been set by Rolls-Royce over the decades, over 113 years. So when it comes to looking for venues to launch our cars, we are equally uh, obsessive in trying to find places that are spectacular, beautiful, that speak of the Rolls-Royce lifestyle, that have a connection with Rolls-Royce if possible, and which give you, our friends from the media, a little glimpse of what it's like to be a Rolls-Royce customer. We, I think, are the ultimately customer-obsessed company in the world. We sell only 4,000 or so of our products each year. That means that we can know every one of our customers more or less personally. And we are obsessed with knowing each one of them, knowing what their proclivities are, understanding what they want, talking with them, spending time with them. And what I want is for you guys over the next two days here with us in the Cape to just have that sense that, hey, I'm a Rolls-Royce customer. This is the way they hang. This is what they do. This is where they go. This is the sort of stuff that they get up to. And I want you to really just soak yourself into it. Relax, take it easy, 
and really enjoy your time with us. Of course, the Cape, here in South Africa, um, presented itself as a logical place for us to bring this magnificent drophead coupe of ours. We're launching at a time when the Northern Hemisphere is in the middle of winter, so we couldn't very well launch our car in the Northern Hemisphere. We looked in various other places around the world, and we eventually decided that the Cape was exactly the right place to do it. And tomorrow, as you drive around this extraordinary and beautiful part of the world through mountain passes, through vineyards, some of the most exquisite uh, coastal drives in the world, I think you will agree with me that this was a damn good choice for us to bring our new Rolls Royce Dawn, the most sensuous, dare I say, the most sexy drophead coupe that Rolls Royce has ever produced. A really beautiful car. Cape Town became the top contender. We feel very at home here. And we feel at home here because Cape Town has become one of those stopping off points along the global migration route of the rich and famous. You know, they spend winter in Gestart and they spend winter in Saint Moritz. They end up in Saint Tropez. They go to the south of France. They go to Punta del Este. They go to uh, uh, La Costa Smeralda. They have a sort of a circuit that they constantly follow during the course of the year with their yachts and jets and planes and, 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 and families. And they come here to Cape Town. Many of them have bought little wine farms and have their own labels and make their own wine here in the Cape Winelands. Many of them have bought very beautiful Atlantic seaboard homes over on the other side of Table Mountain. The rich and famous, they love coming to Cape Town. It's got a wonderful feeling about it and they really enjoy being here. And now you're here, so just enjoy it. Have a great time while you're here. Um, and then of course we came to, to Delay Graf. Now, Delegraph is an interesting estate. I can remember as a student in Cape Town, um, coming out here to where these big oak trees are just behind us. There was a little winery there and grapes growing in this area. And we used to come out on a Sunday and sit under the oaks and drink Dele wines. And it was pretty lousy wine, I have to tell you. It was pretty rotten. And we would drink it and, you know, get all kind of sozzled on a Sunday. And, um, and then get ourselves back to residence at university and wake up with a terrible headache on Monday. Then Lawrence Graff came here. Now, if you know the name Lawrence Graff, you'll know who I'm talking about. Lawrence Graff is the world's greatest diamond collector, perhaps the world's greatest jeweler from Graff Diamonds. And he looked at this place and he said, this is too beautiful for words I wanted, so he bought it. He uprooted all the, wide, the, the vineyards, he knocked down all the buildings, and he recreated Delegraph uh, in his own image. A very beautiful, I think, one of the, if not the most beautifully situated vineyard here in the Western Cape. And tomorrow as you move around, have a great look at it. Look at the light, feel the uh, walk amongst the vines. Just really enjoy it. And if there's anything that my staff and I can do to make you stay a little more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask us. You know, weird Rolls Royce really know we really know what a luxury item should be. It's something that we have thought about, mulled over, and worked on very, very carefully over years. We know that a luxury item should be unique, it should be handcrafted, it should be comfortable, it should be beautiful, and above all, it should be rare. Luxury items cannot be mass. They need to be rare. And all of those features are embodied in this magnificent new Rolls Royce. And we're going to tell you a lot more about this car over the next day or two. And I think that by the time you leave, you will agree with us that here is an item of exceptional rareness. Very rare indeed. Mm -hmm.